It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer, and today we've got a beer from Samuel Smith's Brewery, and this is a bottle of their pure brewed organic lager. Something slightly different with a Samuel Smith's bottle, and I really like it. I've got other bottles here. Maybe this is not a great representation. Or maybe it is. So normal glass bottles are 500 millilitres. Samuel Smith's offer you 550 millilitres, so the bottles are slightly bigger. And that's more or less a full pint of beer. 5% ABV. I have re reviewed this a long time ago on the channel. Um, I wanted to revisit it, see, see what I think about it right now, because I'm going through a phase of really enjoying different lagers. And Samuel Smith's, I think they've got a great reputation as a brewery. I think their beers are absolutely bang on. So there's the bottle cap, dark brown bottle. Without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. I was kind of thinking about putting this beer up against a, a German lager, like a side-by-side -side test. Perhaps I'll do this in the future. Two finger, white head, good levels of carbonation, straw coloured lager. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Pretty good. No sediment in the bottom of the glass. A nice clean looking lager. Oh, look at that, we got it all in as well. So is there a, oh, look, 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 there is sediment, look. It is bits and pieces floating around in the bottom of this glass, quite long, stringy-like sediment, which is quite interesting. Uh, does this beer have a pint line? It doesn't, it's more or less, oh yes, it does. By the time that head dissipates a little bit, look, you're more or less getting a full pint of beer here. So, aroma on the beer then. Oh yeah, fantastic. Wonderful actually, lovely, lovely aroma. Hoppy, peppery, spicy. Stinging nettle aromas. Yeah, this is coming across as well, this has the aroma of a really good German pills. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Right. Little bit sweet. Just a little bit sweet. I'll tell you why. Um, Actually, though, actually, before I start, it's not called itself a pilsner here anywhere on the bottle, has it? So it probably would be wrong of me. I almost got this. Well, let's do it anyway. Um, snooker final last night between Ronnie O'Sullivan and Mark Williams. Um, the tour championship or something. Williams won. I drank half a keg. Half a keg of this Walled House Diplom Pills from Germany. Um, of course, it's empty now. I can't show you any of it. But um, that was one of the nicest Pilsners I've ever drank in my life. It was incredible. So next day, after drinking half a keg, I'm able to kind of pit it against Samuel Smith's efforts here.
there's a little bit of sweetness that comes through on this beer. But it's a proper lagered beer, this. It, it's, this is of a very, very high quality, this lager. Yes, it's leaning towards being a little bit sweet. Maybe if you were to try and kind of categorize it in a in a in a sense, putting it in, in a bracket, maybe I'd say Hellez Lager. Maybe I'd kind of push this towards being a Hellez Lager, which is really good. I like a Hellez. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. It's really light. It's really crisp. It's peppery, it's spicy. There's a little bit of sweetness. There's a little bit of bitterness. It's got a great balance to it. It feels like a, like a really well-balanced beer, actually. Like a, like a perfect kind of hang glider flying through the sky. Nice amount of sweetness over here. Nice amount of bitterness over here. I think they've done a really, really good job. Um, as I mentioned, I'm a big fan of Samuel Smith. Just a year or so ago, I uh, went to their pub in, whenever whenever I see a Samuel Smith pub, I always kind of go to it. It's a, and I always seem to drink their lager actually, or their bitter. But there's a reason why I go to a Samuel Smith pub. It's because, even though they they're not a massive chain, they're not a massive chain. They're a, a very traditional chain. Um, no no bad language type of thing. No swearing. Um, no filming. No filming. I, I I went to film in the one in Newport and was told I can't film in their in their building. Um, bit like Weatherspoons now though. Weatherspoons didn't allow filming either. Uh, but my point is that when you go into a a Sam Smith's pub. It's all their own products, even down to their crisps. They make their own crisps, they make their own lemonade, they make their own cola, they make their own lager, they make their own vice beer, they make their own stout and porter, they make their own best bitter. It's one of these kind of like everything's in house, and the only place you can get it is I picked this bottle, bottle up from a bottle shop. But if you want to drink their beer on cask, it's like you have to go to their pub. And it's a very, very kind of rare example of, of how things used to be many, many moons ago. So I'm going to rate this then. Um, what, does the, what do they say about it? Um, brewed with care, using only, only organic malted barley, organic hops, medium soft water and a bottle fermenting yeast matured at low temperatures to bring out its delicate flavour and soft hop character. They really know their stuff, this brewery. Big fan of this then. Good look to the beer, good aroma, fantastic taste. I like the beer enough to give it a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.